Hey everybody, Jody Marketplace Boutique. Today I'm gonna show you Halloween items that have sold for over a thousand dollars. I was just listing some Halloween stuff and I thought, hmm, I wonder what this stuff is worth. So I did a little comp look up and I thought I'd share. So come on along, I'll show you what sells for big money on eBay. Halloween style. Halloween is definitely like one of my favorite holidays. I don't like handing out the candy anymore because, well, I don't have kids. So really, really like Halloween decor. I've already started decorating for Halloween. As you can see behind me, I found some turkeys. <laughs> Love decorating for Halloween and I thought I'd show you things to keep your eye out for that can bring you big money on eBay. Okay, so here is a 26 foot giant Halloween inflatable Ghostbuster Marshmallow Man. And I guess this had some kind of advertising on it. Over $1,900 is sold. Amazing. I do have to say, if I were to buy something really cool and spend a lot of money on something on, on Halloween, this would probably be one of them. This is really awesome. Here's a crown jewel of Halloween toys, Two Face Monster, Veggie Man, Vintage Antique. So this one sold for over $1,600. So... Keep your eye out for those really old vintage toys that can bring big money on eBay. Okay, so here's a Catherine's Collection 2020 Midnight Witch life-size doll. Over $2,100 is sold for. Wow, that's amazing. Definitely keep your eye out for like those name brands. And also, you can tell in the quality of the item, it has a lot of details in the face that is very detailed and you can really tell quality compared to like the cheap dollar store stuff so just kind of keep your eye out for those really unique pieces you know which i haven't really been doing and i probably need to do Ooh, here's some 32 pieces of vintage halloween decorations poster embossed pieces this person lotted them up in a lot $1,800 plus shipping. Amazing. That's like super, super cool. Here is a giant 33 foot Halloween inflatable pumpkin decoration blower LED light strip. Okay, so this is like a big giant pumpkin and it sold for almost $2,500 and it probably was $2,500 when you add tax. Wow, how cool. This would be so awesome to drive down the street and see this in somebody's yard. Wouldn't that be awesome? Woo, silicone mask, realistic mask, Grinch Halloween mask, evolution masks. Okay, there's a lot of masks going on. I think they could have used a little bit less of what they had and a little bit more description, but they still sold it for almost $2,000. So who am I to judge on their titles? <laughs> This is awesome. I have to say, this would be like really, really fun to wear for Halloween. This would be cool. Ooh, Jamie Lee Curtis signed Halloween poster. And they keep using the same words again. They could have put like hand claw or something. <laughs> the night he came home. Hmm. I have to say that's a very, very scary movie. And it's cool to have something signed. So this was $3,500 and an offer was taken. How neat is that? Wouldn't that be cool to have like hanging in your basement wall? Ooh, and here's a rare Jemmy Texas Chainsaw Massacre six foot leather face 2006 spirit prop works. Ooh, $2,100. That's so scary. Now can you imagine handing out candy to kids wearing this? Oh my goodness, that would be scary. Ooh, and here's a really cute, I think these are so adorable. And these always sell for really big money and even more than this sometimes. And here is an antique vintage Halloween paper pulp, goblin, jack-o'-lantern, pumpkin lantern. Okay, so these have that paper in the back and the paper is what shows and glows. Like the eyes and the teeth and stuff. These are so cool. I wish I could find these. Maybe 
I should make my own. I could probably make my own. Would this be fun? I wish I could find one of these out in the wild because that would be really, really cool. I might have to look for one of these. This sold for over $22.47 and it was at an auction. So there was 28 bids on this item. This is so amazing. I have to say good job to that seller for finding it. Um, definitely take a look at your estate, estate sales or your estate auctions to find something like this. Um, look in the basement. Look at where all like the Christmas stuff is. You can probably find something like this there. Here's a German nodding witch jack-o'-lantern candy container vintage Halloween antique. Ooh, this is kind of creepy looking. It's really, really strange. $22.80 plus shipping it sold for. Keep your eye out for strange. You could kind of tell by like those old vintagey holiday things because they got kind of like creepy faces. Here's a mint condition celluloid witch black cat noisemaker vintage Halloween antique. This sold for over $23.82. So cute. And again, those vintagey things have like those kind of scary faces. You know, kids probably played with these when they were little and they were all so friendly looking back then, I have to say. I recently sold something like this too, and I did not put that much on it. Just remember the word celluloid, I guess, on those things. Here's a Halloween Michael Myers PCS statue, limited, 150 exclusive, unopened. So this sold for over $3,000 was shipping. This would be awesome to add to your collection if you are those that spooky person at Halloween. Here's a rare vintage early Bastille Halloween mechanical die cut Little Miss Pumpkin. These are cute. This sold for over $3,000. I'm not sure why they needed $30 shipping, but they sure did get it. This is really cool. They have like those movable arms that you can move around and the movable legs. You know, schools probably had them hanging out back in the day or parents would buy them to hang around their homes. Really, really cute. I have to say, this is cool. And here's a Halloween John Carpenter Atari cartridge. Now, I used to have Atari for my kids, I think. That would have been cool to keep, but I didn't. I think I sold it back in like the early 2000s. Here's a 1983 Rare. This sold for over $3,000. All I have to say is if you were a kid in the 80s, um, maybe you should go back to mom and dad's house and see if they still have it in the basement somewhere. Or maybe their room is still like how it was when you lived there. That would be super awesome. You can go and kind of rummage through your stuff and see what you could sell. Here's an antique vintage Halloween 1920 German candy container hat box. This sold for over $33.39. Can you imagine paying over $3,000 for this little hat box container? Wow, that's super cool. You know, some people kind of give me some grief about prices that I put, but I do look up my things on eBay and other places to see how they sold. I guess my comment is, well, you can't go out back to the 1920s and pick it out of the grocery store, so that's why it's so much money. And if somebody wants stuff like this and they collect it, they're going to be willing to pay. Ooh, creepy. Here's a Boot Hill Skeleton Original Sculpture by David Everts. Definitely keep your eye out for David H. Everts on those sculpture pieces. This one sold for over $3,500. You know, I just went to a bunch of flea markets and I don't think I've seen anything like vintage Halloween at all. I, I did see a lot of Christmas. Hmm. I guess next time I go to a flea market, I'm definitely going to look at those sculptures. Okay, and here's the vintage Halloween 1920s German composition Two-Face Witch and Devil Lantern. Now, I've definitely seen those two-face things before. Um, Definitely keep your eye out. They could be worth a lot of money. This one sold for over $43.38. Wow! Can you imagine finding this at your local thrift store? You can flip it for this much money. I love vintage and antiques. And eBay has a lot of freebies, so you can probably list it for free. Ooh, and here's a rare antique German Halloween stump cantle lantern. 
Now, these are super old. I know back in the day, like turn of the century, that stump and like the, the tree stumps and stuff were really a thing back then. It was kind of a statement piece, and I see them a lot on cemetery tombstones. Um, sometimes they're the shape of it. So this is a definitely an old item. This one sold for over $5,500. And it lights up in the back. This is making me want to do some crafts. Let me tell you, I can easily recreate that with my own stump in the backyard. A little bit of construction paper. Boy, that would be really fun to do with kids even. Oh my goodness. Here's a rare, now those German pieces are really, must be worth some money. This, here's a rare German black cat jack-o'-lantern candy container. Now those candy containers are definitely worth some money. Vintage Halloween antique, I definitely see a lot of these being sold. This one sold for over $6,500. Can you imagine that? Wow, that's just amazing. Look at this cute black cat. How cute is this? Like if you have a cat in your house, you like kitty cats, this would definitely be something to collect. It looks like his mouth kind of opens a little bit and he's got teeth showing. Those things are kind of scary back then. Maybe you'll find something really awesome to sell or maybe you even have something in your house that you can flip for a profit. I hope you enjoy. Keep your eyes out everybody. Bye.